Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin, aka Diego, gonna do uh, my UI video. And uh, before I get into it, let's. Uh, Alright, so this is gonna be the last UI video I do for a long time. So if you guys could help me out, if anyone you see anyone ask questions about UI on any video, um, and you are some of my subscribers and some of my loyal fans, the two of you out there, <laughs> just kidding, I love all you guys. Um, refer them to this video, please. Um, I, so I'm gonna try to do it in 10 minutes. So. I'm going to try to cover the big ones. So here we go. First one right off the bat. Uh, Add-on control panel. It's this one with the star right up to it. What it lets me do is it lets me turn it on and off any add-ons that I want um, without having to log out, which is really cool. So uh, And it also like says it's uh, de like dependencies and what it does and blah, 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 blah. So it's really good add-on. Like if you uh, have farming add-ons. Or you use like auction, you know, auctioneer, which takes up a lot of memory. But you want to, when you hop into a raid, you want to turn that off. You just click that off and hit a quick reload UI, as opposed to logging out and then logging back in. So it's a little bit quicker, and uh, I, I like it. So um, and it doesn't take up a lot of memory. So um, Art Defender, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna use this as my guide. So Art Defender, that's the first one I'm gonna talk about. It's a Protection Paladin really only spell, or add-on if you will. Um, when you're in a raid, I have it emote to raid. When I use like my bubble wall, you'll see here it'll say bubble wall active and deactive. And when you use your hand spells like a bless, a hand of sac, a hand of sacrifice, or a hand of protection, any of your hand spells, it'll whisper the person that you use that on. Um, and di too, di is on a hand spell. But when you use di, it also will whisper that person saying you di'd them. So uh, hopefully that person res you. <laughs> if they're not, they're, they're an asshole. So um, that's really good. That's really good. Um, and it also says when you use uh, divine sacrifice and when that's up and down. So uh, if you have that spec. So um, next add-on, uh, AVR. Not going to cover that because that's going away, but that's a boss mod add-on. Uh, Bagnon, I think that's what it's called. But that basically just converts all your bags into just a one space. Same thing with your bank. Um, next... Um, is Bartender that is downloaded with Spartan UI. I'll go ahead and cover that right now. This is Spartan UI, guys. This whole uh, UI right here. If you don't have a, a default, if you have default map, it'll put it right here for you. If you're using a map you uh, add-on, you might have to disable it or move it right here. And then it puts all your little plugins all around it. So um, and then it you know shows uh, you your target and your target a target. Um, and the only thing that it doesn't do is this bar right here, which I added through Bartender. Um, I just wanted my rotation a little bit closer to center where your eyes are fixated most of the time because that's where your character is. So I just wanted a little bit closer so I could keep an eye on it even though I do have my, um, my add-on which is called per Protection. It's surprisingly stupendous. Um, it's not the best rotation add-on. It's on a first come first serve. But if you follow the 969 rotation which is the Protection Paladin rotation, it will, uh, it will show you the 969 rotation. So it's really, really cool. Um, and I have it only to show up when I have a target selected that I could attack. So that's pretty cool. Um, next... Let's see, uh, this one just tracks my uh, Sacred Shield, and if you're holy, it tracks uh, your holy talents, like uh, Beacon of Light, and there's the other one where you judge, you get haste, so it tracks those two as well, um, but as Prot, obviously it just tracks Sacred Shield, and it will track every Paladin in your raid. Um, it won't track Beacon of Light if you're Protection, like I won't see other Holy Paladins Beacon of Light, but I'll see their Sacred Shield, which is pretty cool. So I can see if they're sacred shielding, like uh, if I'm off tanking and they're sacred shielding the main tank, uh, I can put it on myself. So it's pretty cool. Uh, cooldown count. A lot of people ask about this one. Really simple, really light add-on. Basically, if you just see the ability, it just shows a number and how long it is until it's coming back up. So it's pretty cool. So that's uh, I like that one. And then you know, for longer ones, it'll just say M for M for four minutes. So. Um, Next, next, DXE, that's my uh, boss mod. Uh, I'm not going to cover that too much, but you know, it's a little bit better than uh, deadly boss mods, in my opinion. So try it out if you like it, let me know. Uh, air filter, real simple. It just um, takes out a lot of the red text you get when you're like spamming abilities and you're on global cooldown, and it says this ability is not able to be used or something like that. It just cuts all that red text out. Um, cleans up my UI because I have a lot of information that pops up right here and I don't want it to be covered by bullshit red text that, you know, it can't, this ability can't be used. I know because I'm on global cooldown and I'm spamming abilities. Fucker! Fucker! Grid! Uh, grid, I uh, can't really cover this in one video. This takes a whole video in itself just to customize or to show you guys how to set up. But uh, there's so much shit. It pops up right here right over my chat frame which is called Chatter. Um, pops up right here. Um, so much. The only thing I want to cover is I have aggro alert on. 
Um, it basically just will in the upper left, top left corner, it'll show a small little red dot, and the whole border will actually be red um, if they have aggro. So I know who has aggro and uh, if they should have aggro or if they shouldn't have aggro, and uh, I could taunt accordingly. So uh, next, my scrolling combat text. That's my uh, my you know scrolling combat text. So all the all the outgoing damage that I do is right here. Um, all the the buffs that I get are like right here. Like if I buff myself. Uh, and all the debuffs I get uh, kind of like pop out like that. I customize that. And uh, if I do take damage here, it actually should get bigger. Yeah, see, the, the white text is a little bit bigger than all the other stuff, like all this stuff, just because I wanted to keep track of the physical damage I take. Um, I don't have the spell damage um, bold, but I have the physical damage bigger because I want, you know, to keep track of uh, how much damage I'm taking. Um, let's see. Next, Omen is my threat meter. Um... That only pops up in raids. Uh, I don't know what that is. O F O O U F. No clue. Pally power. Let's cover that. That's awesome. Paladin add-on. If you're a paladin and you raid, you should have this. It'll show up all the paladins that have the add-on in your raid and show what buffs they're buffing. If you have free assignments checked, it will let those paladins ch uh, change your buffs. If you don't, you, uh, they won't be able to. So uh, I would recommend that you have it checked. Just if you trust your your guild. If you pug a lot, maybe not. Anyway, so it. You know, it shows all, you know, each class and what you're buffing, and then what other paladins are buffing of that same class. So you can see who's covered at covering what. So you don't have to listen to that bullshit. Can I get Mike? Can I get fucking Kings or like that? You can just set it up and go. And just go. So, um, next, protection is surprisingly stupendous. I already covered that. Power Auras. This is a really good add on. I really like this one. Type forward slash P O W A to get it to pop up. Um, basically, it you could have it show anything. Uh, when a buff procs, or when a uh, when a proc procs, I guess you could say, uh, weapon proc or anything like that, you could have it say that. You could just like list the debuff. Like, um, let me open it up here. Just you, you know, just all this stuff like alive, dead, in a five man, ten man, and, or just you know, if it's not checked, it's just ignored. Um, just all sorts of different stuff. And here I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when I test all. So all this stuff shows me different stuff. These are my trinkets down here, stun, silence. I have sounds for those when I get stunned in silence. And this is my ICC Librum. It shows me uh, how many stacks I'm at, one to three, and then how many seconds before it falls off. And then um, if Divine Please up and I'm in combat, and if it falls off, uh, this blue ring on the inside, kind of if you see that, will pop up, meaning I need to put Divine Plea back up. This outer ring that's kind of like flashing, I guess you could say, is uh, my four-piece uh, prot. Uh, let's me know when that's up, and then uh, this red ring is when art uh, art defender prox. Yeah, art defender. So let's me know I died and I need to pop cooldowns because uh, my healers suck. No, just kidding. They're really good. And sacred shield is his uh, yellow one on the inside. So I always try to keep sacred shield on myself with divine plea. So usually those are never. I never see those. Um, other other than that, let's get back and let's see. Ratings buster. Want to cover this real quick? This is awesome. So um, it's just a stat summary. For basically, you could cover, have it cover every stat. So you see, I got attack power, holy damage, all that stuff. That's a stat breakdown for a weapon, and just other stuff. It just shows you what you gain and lose. Actually, that's a ret chest. Let me try to find another, like tanking item. There we go. There's no tanking item. So you see right there. That's this is a 277 compared to my 264, um, tier 10. So you you could see that obviously that's a pretty big upgrade because it's green everywhere and all the stats that I I am most you know, worried about avoidance, defense, uh, health, attack power. So it's a straight, straight up, um, you know, upgrade. Now you might ask me, Justin, why don't you use this? Well, it's because I want it for, you know, I want my shoulder or my uh, shoulders for two piece, for threat. This is my threat set that I'm wearing. So two piece. This is better. This two piece is better than just wearing this one and not having two piece. Anyway, so but I do, I do wear it in other sets. So don't say that I'm an idiot for not wearing it. I do wear it. But anyway, so um. That's basically, uh, I think there's a couple more I want to cover. Let's see. Spartan UI covered it. Recount. That's, uh, you know, your damage. Uh, tidy nameplates. That's the nameplate add-on. If you guys see these nameplates up here that I'm clicking on, um, that's pretty cool. It'll show you who's attacking you and who's not attacking you. You could have it set up different modes. But, yep, that's basically it. Hopefully the video hasn't gone too long. But uh, you guys have a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If I was brief, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it all in one video. So you guys have a good one.